Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and this is a really pretty little piece I worked on uh, yesterday. This is a pre-loved canvas, but over time I've realized I don't, I don't love the painting that much. So I'm going to give the canvas new life. And I've started by mixing some of my mead and black acrylic paint, and I've mixed it one part paint to about four parts Floetrol and maybe one part water. I want it to flow when I tilt, uh, but I still want it thick enough to hold my designs on the canvas. And you can see as I tilt, the paint moves slowly, but it's moving. And that's really what you want. You want a nice, juicy consistency, but it still moves. And it will level out beautifully. I will torch the black paint to get rid of any bubbles. And then I'm going to start playing with some of the new Modern Masters paints that I got on clearance at Michael's this week. If you were able to score some of them on clearance, you'll find they're very nice paints. Uh, very creamy, they mix well with Floetrol and water. This is probably one part of the Modern Masters paint to three parts Floetrol and a little squirt of water. They're really very nice, smooth paints and the colors are wonderful. For this kind of swipe, you want to put a fair amount of paint on the canvas. Uh, sometimes I see swipes where it seems like they're struggling. There's maybe not enough paint on the canvas and your paint is not thick enough uh, to run one over the other to get the beautiful effects with cells and lacing. With a damp paper towel, you'll see I pick up a little bit of the black base coat. I also lay it onto the top inch or so of color. That helps me to move these paints down the canvas. And I'm doing uh, just a pretty wavy shape as opposed to a straight swipe. You can swipe in any direction. You can swipe in circles. Uh, it depends on what you're looking for. I want something very fluid, uh, very organic looking, and I, I love I love the shape of a a wavy swipe. With this swipe, I'm bringing it down straight, but then I'm giving it a twist and pulling it across before I pull it down the canvas. And that just gives me a narrower swipe area as I've gone down that one. You can also leave bits of paint that you didn't swipe and work them into your design. As I do here with that bit of pretty candy apple green at the top, I'm going to draw some of the solid areas through and up and they add to, uh, they add an element of design to the piece.
You can see how these little spheres with the palette knife add a lot of interest and detail, delicate little lines that draw your eyes in. Uh, you can smear in any direction. Uh, I just find it, it adds to the movement of the piece. It draws some solid color through, so you get some lovely contrast. And again, you can create movement. So from here, it's just some beautiful, graceful schmears. You can also use your popsicle stick and pull some more paint in where it might need a little highlight or a little interest. And after that, it's just all the little housekeeping, uh, touching up any little spots on the black that may be there, just dabbing a bit more black onto them and wiping the paint from the bottom of the canvas because I don't want this pattern to go anywhere. It's actually very pretty.
Thanks for coming along and thank you so much for all your kind comments. Let's keep playing with pigments and making beautiful things. Bye.